Good day, good day once again, everybody, and we are back together. Well, this time we are looking at question 11 from our technical maths uh, 2024 May June exam. So, please, if it's the first time that you are looking or watching this video, please just hit that subscribe button and let's get into the question. So, they say to us uh, the picture of an irregular figure with straight side AB is shown below. Uh, the ordinates of the figure, right, we, uh, we can see them. That's 2.96. That's going to be the next one. That's going to be 6.9, uh, 6.99 and 3.98 and so on. All right. Now they say to us, right angled triangle ABC with AC equal to 11.18 and BC 10 centimeters is not part of the irregular figure. Right. Now, firstly, they say to us, calculate the length of AB to the nearest integer. Right. So we're looking for the length of that side there, which is AB. Okay, let's go for it. So remember that this is a 90 degree triangle, right? So that means that's the hypotenuse. It's opposite our 90 degree angle, right? So we can say that AB squared is equal to AC squared plus CB squared. So AB, that would be the square root of, that's 11 point one eight squared plus 10 squared. All right, let's work that out quickly. That's the square root of 11.18 squared plus, um, that's 10 squared. Okay, right, I get 14.99, so that's approximately 15. They said to the nearest integer, so that means AB is simply equal to 15. Okay, uh, what were the units? That's centimeters, so that's 15 centimeters. Right, now they say if AB is divided into five equal parts, right, as shown in the diagram, determine the width of each of the equal parts. Right, so if uh, it's divided into five equal parts, so what, which means each of the parts will be 15 divided by 5, and so that would be three centimeters each, right? So no need to be creative there. Now they say, hence, determine by using the mid-ordinate rule, uh, the area of the irregular figure, right? So remember for our mid-ordinate rule, so I'm going to show you there, okay? So this is what we are going to be using, okay? Right, and by the way, nothing wrong if you decide, uh, actually, it's exactly the same thing. It's just that the other one is the expression of the other. Okay, right, so let's find the area quickly. So we're going to say the area of this figure using our mid-ordinate rule. So remember, each of the bases are three. And I'm going to take the average of the two heights that are there between the figure, right? So that's going to be 3 multiplied by. Now, remember, all of them are going to be multiplied by 3. And so that's why I'm going to say base times height, base times height. But what is the height? Our first height will be 2.96 plus 6.99 over 2. 0.96 plus 6.99 over 2 plus another, uh, the second area, 6.99 plus 3.98. That's 6.99 plus 6.98, or rather 3.98, not 6. Yeah, that's 3.98. over 2 plus the next one 3.98 
plus 2 over 2. The next one, 2 plus uh, 6.05. over 2 and finally the last one 6.05 plus 3.99 over 2 all right now uh, you would work out this area um you know my calculator is uh, not really the most advanced but uh, let's try the best that we can right Right, so firstly, uh, let's take the first one. In fact, let's do this. I'm going to say uh, 2.96 plus 6.99. Uh -uh. 6.99, okay. And that's divided by 2. Okay, so that gives us 4.99. 975 okay let's go for the next one 6. Point, okay 6.99 plus 3.98 i'm sure you 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 get the gist of this ladies and gents and if you can okay this is dangerous okay equal to and this is divided by 2 all right i get 5. Point, four eight five and the next one we said that was three point nine eight plus two that's divided by two i get two point nine nine the next one uh, apologies i'm just going to have to remove uh, that last one there okay but i'll remove it once we're done Okay, so this uh, the next one, we've got 3.98 uh, plus, no, 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 that's the one that we've just done. We've got 2 plus 6.05. That's divided by 2. Okay, that gives us 4 point. Okay, I'm just going to continue over there. 0, 2, 5. And the last one, which is... 6.05 plus 3.99 okay and this is divided by 2 and this is going to be 5.02 okay right and ladies and gents all that we're simply going to do so i'm just going to put all of these uh, remember we are multiplying them by 3 which is the base that we've got okay so that's 3 into 4.9 Seven five plus five point four eight five plus two point nine nine plus another four point zero four point zero two five and finally five point zero two right ladies and gents and what do we get well i get a value oops Ooh, i think i did a mistake i made a mistake somewhere okay uh please guys you can go and fix that i said forty thousand nine hundred and seventy five uh, you probably would have realized that okay so whatever the final answer whatever will be will be okay that is what you would have worked out i trust you guys to have calculated this correctly Right, and that is how the cookie crumbles. I will see you guys again next time. Please, if you can, uh, just put that uh, answer, that final answer in our comment section so that we can see what it actually is. For now, I'll see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.